Let's start off our How's the Market Talk today by talking a little bit about what is going on in the news. Um, I'm sure everybody has heard the new Syrian refugee plan for Canada, so it's very cool that the government is going to be keeping the promise and having 25,000 refugees in by Christmas. Yeah, I mean, obviously everyone's, yeah, everyone's concern is safety um, yeah. on this issue and the government. This stuff is changing daily as yes. they put out new plans. Lots What's the things. latest on it? Lots of concerns seem to be addressed. There have been some public opinion in polls, and it does seem that vast and wide there is a large support for making sure that we do support refugees. Um, for those of you that didn't know, there is a plan set in place now where only women, children, and men who are part of a family are able to come, so there won't be any unaccompanied men that are able to attend um, any of the refugee moving, attend, refugees <laughs> attending. Any males won't be able to participate in coming over to Canada yet. That might be in the second phase. But there is a lot of security happening. Over 100 refugees are being screened by the United Nations in partake with Canada daily. And there's a very heavy screening process, and the government is assured civilians that they can be very confident in the people coming over. Um, by the sounds that the majority of all of the refugees are going to be going to Toronto and Montreal. There's not going to be refugee camps. No one's going to be in a tent. But it looks like there's going to be a lot of hospitals that aren't really being used, empty hotels. But um, it's going to be a big plan. We're going to have a lot of people coming into the country by the end of December. Yeah, they expect about 2,500 in Calgary. Um, yeah. Also, other news, if you're falling over the weekend, is uh, Rachel Nod <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Rachel Notley uh, announced her $3 billion climate mm -hmm. change plan. So this is going to be by implementing different carbon taxes. It sounds like um, they're going to be taxing electricity, uh, gas, yeah. um, a, a bunch of other things, anything that has to do with uh, emissions out there. So they're going to be trying to raise more money to promote climate change. Obviously, by, 20, uh, by 2030, yeah. they want to eliminate uh, any coal-produced electricity. So any emissions coming from that. So we'll see how this uh, comes out. But right now... Some big money coming in. There is going to be yeah. some more taxes coming in. Um, so it, that is taking effect as well. It does seem, though, that um, you know, the news has reported that all of the major oil and gas companies in Alberta and the spokespeople for oil and gas in Alberta are, for the most part, very on board with it because one of the big issues that we've had in terms of exporting our oil is the national and international opinion that Alberta has dirty oil. So one of the big goals isn't just, you know, taxing for the sake of taxing and reducing these emissions for the sake of it, but to clean up um, public perception of Alberta oil. So hopefully by, we get to, by the time we get to 2030, there's going to be a lot more demand for our oil because people are going to think that we're doing a much better job of keeping it clean. So by and large, the oil and gas companies do seem to be happy. They think it's a good opportunity. Um, they're happy that there's going to be something put in place to keep them up with the other provinces. So this isn't a negative thing for oil and gas, by the sounds of it. No, exactly, exactly. Yeah. And on the oil issue, which obviously we watch very, very closely because Calgary is yeah. very uh, dependent on it right now, um, there's some news coming out of Saudi Arabia. Yeah, that's other good, o good oil news, is that the minister of Saudi Arabia, one of the ministers of Saudi Arabia, has made a public statement that they are going to be working with OPEC to help stabilize the market, which is really big because, as many of you know, a lot of the problems that we're having with our oil price right now is because of production. And if they are going, if the Saudis are willing to work on production with OPEC in general, hopefully we can see a better oil price coming up in the next year, hopefully even by the end of 2016. So that's great news. We'll have to see what happens. It's still a new statement, but um, it's better than um, previous when the Saudis kind of just said, our oil is our oil, we're going to produce what we produce, or not let out what we let out. So cooperation is very good. Yeah. Watch the headlines because yeah. this stuff is changing literally Daily. weekly. Yeah. yeah. We every single week we have new stuff coming on. Yeah. Um, the, the governments between the liberals and the NDP, something new is coming out, new governments coming in, mm -hmm. the oil policies are changing. So, so keep your eyes out there. Yeah. On the oil prices, um, oil right now is sitting at about 41.56 a barrel. Um, that is up from 40.80 uh, last week. Uh, Canadian dollar is sitting at 74.9 cents US, and that is down from 75.06, but not down by much. But we have eclipsed, we come down below that uh, 74 cents mark, or that 75 cent yeah. mark. Yeah. Um, number of listings, let's chat about that quickly. Metro Calgary, we're sitting at 5,734 listings versus 5,765 last week, so down about 30 in the city. In Red Deer, we're at 517 listings versus 556 last week. 
Yeah, and as far as months of inventory goes right now, um, we're still in buyer's market territory, just 4.21 months of inventory. Single family homes still sitting in a balanced market, 3.61 months of inventory. And condos are at 5.64 months of inventory, and that is obviously um, heavily in the buyer's market. The condos right now are the things that are driving uh, excess inventory downtown, lots of unsold units um, are driving up the months of inventory. Great. Uh, looking at our absorption in some of our surrounding areas, in Okotoks, we're sitting at 4.33, Airdrie, 3.73, Cochrane, 5.17, Strathmore, 6.2, and Red Deer is sitting at 4.24 months of inventory. Yeah, as far as the benchmark price goes again, uh, this differs from average. We're looking at 453100 And this is updated monthly, so we actually won't have the new benchmark price next Monday. Um, but I've been watching this so closely because average price is 6% off, but that's taking into account the fact that not many million dollar homes are selling. Right. Um, so benchmark price is only down 1.17% year over year, and that's the number to watch because that's a true indicator of the market. And as you look at communities, um, prices have been pretty flat. Some of the upper end communities have taken a bigger hit, mm -hmm. but right now prices are pretty flat. So look for an update on Benchmark, not this coming week, but the, the next week after that. Hi everybody, I'm Kirsten Favron. And I'm Lindsay Smith. Thank you so much for tuning into our CIR Live segment today. If you guys like this video and you want more videos like it, please visit our YouTube channel and subscribe and share it with your friends. Hope to see you there.